What up, peeps? Welcome to a new video. We've got Mr. Rightway here. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Good <laughs> to have you on. So thank you, thank you. It's uh, been a long time, man. The flight. Uh. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he's not live local here, so <laughs> you're coming in for the swap, which is tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow and for the swap. Came in a little bit early. Yep. Um, not for this, but <laughs> no, no, I did actually. I didn't want to come in uh, early, but I, when you uh, reached out, say you wanted to collab, I say, hey, let's stop in. If you had not met me, guys, I am Mr. Rightway. I am a video game collector. I on my channel, I try to teach you how to build how to build your video game collection the right way and the cheapest way possible. So I'm looking for thrift stores, Goodwills, pawn shops before everybody else get them, you know, cause I know there's a lot of collectors here right now. So I'm trying to beat them. I'm trying to game hunt and I'm trying to rebuild my Wii U collection. So I bought some trays that you're going to hopefully take, give me a good deal <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, we'll film I, some of that. Yeah, we'll film some of that. And then- are always asking for customer interactions and trade-ins and stuff. So yeah. he was going to film it anyway. So I'm like, well, I'll film it too. <laughs> <laughs> so we can show you guys that process and it'll be fun. I guess I got my eye on some stuff and there's some demo disc and some Wii U stuff. Stuff. I'm a big demo disc collector, guys. I, I don't know why I like demo discs. I guess just because I grew up in that era of you go to like the Walmart, KB toy stores, and the game would be right there and like, oh, it's a free game. It's two levels. Uh, yeah, I take that. You know, yeah. it would just demo. I, I don't know. This demo disc to me just it's almost like a lost a lost artifact in a way because you know you can just you know download demos, but you had yeah. to actually work to get a demo. You know. <laughs> I remember a couple of times going like the KB toy stores and they had like this new demo came out. I can't remember what was it. No, it was uh the new SmackDown. It was uh SmackDown uh Know Your Roll and it was getting ready to come out and only one KB toy store had like one left and I said, please hold it, please hold it for me. I'll give you five dollars, hold it for me. Please. And I finna end up getting it, but you know, I just found that demo this like last year or so. But anyway. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan's really into demos as well. Oh really? Um, so you guys can probably chat a little bit later. He's like, he, he loves them. Yeah. You remember getting um, the demos? I don't even know if they did it in your area. This might've been just around here, but uh, you used to be able to get PS1 demos from Pizza Hut. Yes, I got, I think I got, I don't think I got all of them. I got the blue, the green. Uh, I think I got a book it one. Yeah, they, and they did a bunch of them. And they I, did a bunch of them, yeah. I had some of those when I was younger too. I used to play Ape Escape, the first level. I'd play it just over and over and over because I never had the game. Dude, that but. was that was so <laughs> that was so good because you do remember Book It, right? Do you remember Book It? No. Did y'all have that program here? I don't think so. Okay, so Book It was. Um, it was this reading program in school, and it's a little pen, and they give you like five stars on the pen every time you read a book you get a piece of personal pan pieces. So you had to read a whole book and then it give you a star every time you read a book. I do remember that. I don't think it was called the same thing though. Oh, okay. I don't so, remember the name, but. So Pizza Hut in my area, right? And I remember it so vividly because this when Turtles came out. Uh, you know, do the book and stuff. But once you get a, a personal pan pizza, they will give you a, a PlayStation demo disc. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on. You mean if I read a book, I can get a video game and a pizza? <laughs> Dude, I awesome. I never read so much in my life as a kid, <laughs> man. I was like, I get goosebumps thinking about that now. I was like, I got a personal pan pizza and a video game. And it was good. Do you remember PlayStation Underground? Yeah. 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 Um, I don't think that we ever had, well, we never subscribed to any of the magazines or anything, but um, we might have had like a demo here or there, but I don't remember really seeing those a lot till I got like into collecting like later yeah. on. But I mean, see the demos everywhere. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's some of them are worth, the, actually the Final Fantasy VII one is worth from Pretty Change on it. Yeah, we've got that Silent Hill one, which I showed you earlier oh, in the cabinet. That gosh. one's way more expensive than the whole game. <laughs> why? I don't. I'm, I know why, because they didn't have it out for a while. But yeah, that yeah. is, but you don't see it. There's some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, we, I figured that we would just like chat a little bit, maybe okay. do like sort of interview style okay. for the beginning of the video and then cool, cool. we can finish off with uh, doing the trade in and <laughs> seeing what you pick up with your credit and all that. So today's like our first day really meeting. Yeah, it like, is. We've talked a little bit online mm -hmm. and seen each other's videos and we probably met like before at Portland or something yeah. at, the, at the expo at some point. I actually bought a game from you, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I think you had underpriced. <laughs> You had uh, it is so it's so wrong. I don't say it's wrong, but you know you, you get back like hold on. Okay, it was Shovel Knight for the um, Shovel Knight for the PSP. No, for the Vita. And I think 
that game is still expensive now. Yeah. It's like three years <laughs> ago it was still expensive. It was one of the always expensive games. But uh, I, it was like $24. And I'm like, hold on. I look like, this ain't right. I say, and then when you or somebody else say, is this the correct price? Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and you was just busy selling so much stuff. Like you had like games running, you had a line. It was great, but it's like, and we met a couple of times, you know, hey, how you doing all that kind of stuff? Like, you know, I heard yeah. you was doing, cause I was doing, then I was trying to collect my full Sega Saturn set, which I did complete and then sold, but <laughs> oh, that was crazy. But anyway, yeah. but yeah, uh, I did buy something from you. So it was, it was good. I love buying from like collectors, you know, like in collectors who have a store, that is so crazy. Yeah, and I was, you know, I've been collecting since like 2008, so I was definitely a collector before, you know, having the store. You're a filthy reseller. I was. <laughs> I still am. <laughs> but yeah, I started, I actually started collecting and reselling, like, at the same time. Wow, like, okay. I've told the story a few times, you probably haven't heard it, but I, I was just like cleaning my room one day. I was in high school still. I was cleaning mm -hmm. my room and for some reason I found a Sega Genesis and I never remembered even owning one. <laughs> I found a Genesis Model 2, just a console, no controllers, no cables, no games. Yeah. And I was like, huh, I could probably sell this for something. So I posted it on, or no, I looked on Craigslist in the wanted section. I looked for people that were buying video games and I found, I found someone, they had a store locally, but they would drive around and pick stuff up. And, um, so I contacted them. I was like, Hey, I've got this Genesis. Like, are you interested? And they're like, uh, yeah, sure. It's not worth a ton, but like, I think they bought it for like five bucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, that was really easy because they just came to me and gave me the money. <laughs> so then I was like, I was like, where could I find more video game stuff to sell to them? Like that was my whole thing. I was going to buy video games and sell it to that particular place. <laughs> just that and one that's place. that's how I was going to do it. <laughs> and so I started going to Goodwills and everything. And this is back when like, I'd walk into oh. any Goodwill and I would find Super Nintendo games, N64 mm -hmm. games. I'd find... I'd go to the Goodwill outlet where you pay by weight and I would find Turbo Graphics and Virtual Boys Ugh. like every single time I went. Not like that anymore, obviously. No, it's not like that no more. But yeah, I just started doing that and started collecting at the same time, keeping stuff I wanted and just kept doing it. And I mean, that was that was a long time ago. That was the right way, huh? No. <laughs> that was the right way. But I, I just kept doing that. And then eventually I was, I was a full-time reseller. Okay. Not not doing only video game stuff though. I would sell anything, mm. like a lot of electronics. Um, you found that mini disc player. I would yeah. sell stuff like that. I would sell CD players, Walkmans, calculators. I would sell you know new ink cartridges and paper that I would find. Like I would sell on Amazon and eBay. So I was doing that for four years, four and a half years full time before we opened the store. Mm -hmm. And so that was that was kind of like how how it all started and then once we open the store i i still do a little bit of selling on ebay and amazon but i don't have a lot of time so the store is just like the main thing now and then youtube of course yeah okay <laughs> yeah that's cool so you have been you've been collecting for a while as well yeah and your your entire your entire channel is basically about collecting mm -hmm. and doing going game hunting and yep. doing stuff like that um so for, for anyone that hasn't seen your videos, because you do have a popular channel. Okay, thank you. you. Get, I mean, you have less subscribers than us, but you get more views than we do. <laughs> so I'm sure people watching right now have probably seen your videos. But for just for the people who haven't, okay. um, just like give us kind of like a little overview of maybe some of like the cooler stuff you found over the past year. Okay. So last year was really good year. I was surprised to find a lot of stuff. My most popular video right now, you guys can go look and check it out. It is, I found a Panasonic Q complete in box at a pawn shop. Oh man. At a pawn shop. This is the most out of body experience I ever had as a collector. <laughs> And I'm telling you, I, like I said, I get goose. I, I love collecting. I love game hunting. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it again. <laughs> Go look, check the video. But I'm I'm walking in this pawn shop, right? We was at the pinball expo. We were guests, me and my wife. So I go game hunt. I, everywhere I go, I got to go game hunt. I, I set aside like $30, $40 for gas because I know I'm going to just, I'm going I'm to drain the tank. I'm, I, I'm already going to do that. I know. I know. But anyway, I go in. I look up and I'm, I'm doing my regular filming. And I look up and I like, I said, I know that's not what I think it is. <laughs> and I literally, seriously, 
I think my soul jumped out of my body, looked at me recording, like jumped back in. I'm like, so I brought it down and I saw the price. You just go check it out. But anyway, I ended up getting it. I just still couldn't believe that I got it in a pawn shop. Yeah, that's so crazy. This is the crazy part about it. That system has been sitting there for like three months. Wow. <laughs> in Chicago. You cannot make this up. Me and my wife go to Chicago. I go game hunting. On the weekend that we're there, this, this it was like it was there waiting for me to come pick it up. It was like, come and save me. <laughs> take me home. I was like, yes, I will take you home. That is so crazy. That was my carry on, guys. <laughs> Cause I was it was in the box. And I'm talking about complete. Go check it's complete. And it came with two games. And it came with a broadband adapter. Oh dang. Was it fully working and everything? It, I can't get it working right now. It, it won't, it'll turn on everything, but it won't eject. I'm not in a rush to fix it because I got like three, yeah. four game cubes. And I know a lot of those things have problems like that. They do. I got the thing to fix it. I just got to find the right person. I could have brought it down here and got it fixed, but I didn't want to just, I didn't want to do all that. Yeah, you don't want to carry it around. No, uh-uh. And it's still, it is, it's like a collector had it. A collector had it. Probably, you know, COVID has messed up a lot of people. I don't know. I'm saying just, to for it to be at the pawn shop, somebody had to have some kind of problem and bring it there and just drop it off and didn't pick it up. Yeah, and I'm sure you got a good deal too because as a pawn shop, they don't specialize in video games, so they probably had a hard time. No, they knew what they had. It. They knew what they, they yeah. priced it pretty, I ain't say high, but I got a lot of money off of it for not working. Oh yeah. And so I was like, and they knew, but they still had it for three months. And I left it there that night and I couldn't sleep. And I know you probably collect. I probably you probably had some nights like this before. Like, if I don't get up the first thing in the morning, go get it. It's gonna be gone. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that no more. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't let stuff sit. There was one thing where I did that, and when I went back, it was gone. What was it? It wasn't anything super crazy, but it was a Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs complete in box for Super I Nintendo. I love that game. It was at another game store, mm. and it it's it's a whole thing, but it wasn't there, and so oh. I was just like, man. I'm not doing that anymore. Like now, if I see something, like if I want it, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Like even if, I mean, it doesn't happen very often where I'm not out game hunting. Mm -hmm. But even if I'm out and I'm not game hunting and I see something that's like kind of expensive or whatever, if I don't have the money, I'll put it on a credit card. I don't care. <laughs> you pay it off next month. Huh? Yeah. I I won't leave anything <laughs> behind like that anymore because because of that one situation where, I mean, it wasn't even that big of a deal. It was just one game. But I was like, I don't want that to happen again. So, dude, and, and with times like this, I have never seen this. Okay, I, I haven't been, I've been collecting my whole life, but really hardcore collecting for like the past five years, because I didn't know collecting was a thing. You know, like my culture, we don't do a lot of collecting. A lot of black people don't collect like that. We don't, we just don't do that. I never saw, I never saw that. I never saw that in Arkansas. Like, oh, you, I was always a person that, oh, you got all the games. People called me, hey man, where can I get this game at? I was like, oh, just go around. <laughs> and I always do the answer. They like, call Steve, he'll know the answer. I'm like, all right, I'll go. That, I was that person. But uh, when I came to Dallas and moved to Dallas, it was this whole, like, my eyes open like, wait a minute, people do this and have this in their how homes and have like, <laughs> sis and you know, I didn't know. I did not know. And then, so yes, I caught the collecting bug. I always had it, but I always bought and then resell and bought again, you know, on me trade. I just, I love collecting now. I love, and also another thing for me being in the military, traveling. I love traveling and just driving different places and going and being on the road. So that's a whole thing. And that's, I guess, people can see that and see that passion and, that's what I love. Oh, but let me tell you one more thing that I did find on my channel. This is crazy. I found a complete inbox sealed Super Smash Brothers Melee Ooh. at GameStop. Oh, dang. I remember that. You remember that video you saw that? I do remember that. <laughs> I, remember, I remember seeing the video, but I also remember seeing like it on Facebook. Oh yeah, it blew up on Facebook yeah, too. Yeah, people like freaking out. I mean, yes. that's so crazy. And I've heard other stories too about people finding sealed stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, and I've heard because we have a lot of GameStops around here and they all send people to our store. Oh, that's, when they that's get retro awesome. Stuff, that's which awesome. Is cool. Most of the employees shop here. Oh. So they'll always send people here. But um, every now and then I'll hear something um, from from someone, whether it's local or not, where it's an employee of GameStop and they're like, oh yeah, someone someone brought in like this factory sealed game and, you know, 
I told them that we could only pay them like a dollar for it, but they didn't care. And I tried to tell them that they could get more money on eBay or where, anywhere else, but they didn't care. And I'm like, man, because it does happen. It does happen. A lot of people don't care about video games. And we're so like, so our, our culture and, our, and like, speaking of the video game culture now, it's like we're collectors and we're just so like this, we're in it. No, we think this is, we're our own little bubble. And we hear somebody like, you sold this at games? You sold this at half price books? Why did you sell this at half price books? <laughs> don't go to half price crooks. Don't do that. You know, I call them half price crooks sometimes, but sometimes I do get some good stuff. I just did get Futurama from them. So, but I did have my coupon. Matter of fact, <laughs> let me show you how much a collector I am, y'all. Oh, PlayStation wallet. <laughs> I have I, 15, 50% 50 off somewhere, you know, I'm getting some, I'm really, I got two. Here you go, man, give you one. We don't have half price Y'all have books here? They're up by Seattle. Oh, I can't use it. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, anyway, I'm using these when I get back home. Do you, do you go to half price books? How you been? Only only up around Seattle. Okay. Um, But not very often, because we don't get up there super often. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, but well. yeah, um, but yeah, that's, it's crazy. Um. One story that I want to tell real quick before we can get into your trade on and everything. Yeah, let's do um, that. Kind of related to you found that you found a sealed smash yeah. at GameStop. What 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 they charge you like twenty five bucks for it? <laughs> twenty four dollars, and the manager tried to take it from me, y'all. <laughs> He's oh we can't I sell it, which that is halfway true. They can't, but it was on the floor and it had a price. So I said hold on. I said, if you don't say that to me, I'm gonna call your district manager because I do know the district manager. I go to all of them. Yep. And then I said, also, I am going to call the Better Business Bureau, and I'm gonna take a picture of you and tell them that you didn't do it. And like, all right, man. Then he tried. He I oh, said, then he tried. I said, don't open it. I said, please don't. Oh, I'm a collector. Do not open it. And I still got it. Uh, you know, he didn't open it, but it was like, yeah, he didn't open Thank it. God. Yeah, I know. I was like, I had people like, did he open? No. I was like. Oh my goodness, that's probably the two <laughs> best things I found. Like, and uh, people say you should like grade it. I might, but I'm not really. I, that right there is really, I don't want to ever sell it, I don't think. Because yeah. it's like one of those pieces of like uh, me and my channel that just, and I found. Uh, yeah, it's not just. It's not just a rare sealed game. Mm -hmm. It's like you have that story yeah, attached to that it. Yeah, story attached to it's it. Personal, so. It's very personal. I would say, if it was me, if you're gonna keep it, I wouldn't grade it. Because mm -hmm. I've I've always said that before. Like, if like do whatever you want to do. If you're gonna sell it, then maybe grade it. Yeah. Because I don't personally think that grading a game should increase the value, mm -hmm. but it does. That's just the truth. That's just it. Yeah. It's just the fact that it does. So if you were gonna sell it, grade it. If you're gonna keep it, if you think that the grade looks cool. And you want it graded for yourself, then do it. Of That's what I'm struggling with. That's exactly I, I'm struggling yeah. with that. It's like, I don't have I don't have anything against grading. I have a thing against people who try to defend grading when, in terms, you know, only you the only reason you're doing it is to sell it. Let's be real. Uh, we all grown adults here. If you get something, you grade it. You want to sell it. Half of the people do, not everybody, but don't fight and uh, going crazy on Facebook because no, I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. It's your money, it's your property. Do what you want to yeah. do with it, but don't like demonize somebody because they don't like it or they don't agree with it. You know, that's that's okay. That's what I'm and, I, and I'm going between back and forth. Should I grade it or shouldn't I grade it? Because, like, do I trust them to send it or do I, I just don't know? You know? Do you do you have one of those acrylic cases for it? I don't have a clip. I, I was thinking about getting one of those. Yeah, because I have I've got some of my games. I've got the acrylic cases for. They were like fifteen bucks on eBay, mm -hmm. but they're super nice. They're they're basically the same cases that they come in graded. They're mm -hmm. like the really thick acrylic ones. They have the UV protection and all that. I need to um, get one of those. Because you get like the the regular box protectors, and they protect from shelf wear. But if you drop it or step on it, it's yes. not going to protect it. But the acrylic ones, they're super thick, and I, I mean. At the very minimum, I would get one of those. Another, I might. I thought about getting one. Of and another thing, I just found uh, on my channel, I found uh, the first edition Super Mario Brothers. Uh, but I found it at uh, what was it? We uh, movie trading company. Y'all guys probably call it like um, I don't know what y'all call it down here. It's like it's a movie trading company. Basically, it's a store where you can go get games and movies, anything. But they had it for twenty four dollars. Dang, <laughs> that's a good price. I don't think we have the, those uh, those stores around here though. 
Mm -hmm. um, there was a place called Buybacks, but they closed a while ago. It might kind of been like saying Hastings type of deal. Yeah, it's like, yeah, probably some people know what I'm talking about, some people don't, but if you're in the South, we it's a chain, it's always a chain of video stores. And I really do feel, me traveling around the world, the South has one of the best, like, collecting, you know, collecting stuff. Now up here, like where we in the North? Yeah, we're in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, so like down here, y'all have a lot of like rare stuff. Like people find a lot of rare stuff down here. A lot of people find a lot of common but expensive stuff. Y'all find like rare stuff because all the companies are up here. Yeah, all, we have we have Nintendo and Microsoft up here and a bunch of other tech companies. But um, people at like Value Village and Goodwill up near Seattle, people will find development systems and like employee only controllers and stuff like that all the time. Like it's. It's like a weekly thing in the Seattle Facebook groups. Mm. Like weekly, people are finding like dev controllers I hope for the I Xbox one. one and stuff like that. I hope I found one. But um, but yeah, that's crazy. Um, I would I would definitely get that acrylic case. Okay, I don't think <laughs> I'm gonna I get. Can, if I can talk you into it, I just showed you. We did a video for his channel about Wii U stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and this isn't a spoiler for you guys if you're watching our channel because you probably know we have this. But I got these acrylic cases made for these games. I got these custom made. And these are thinner than the acrylic ones that I have, like on my like my sculptor's cut or whatever. Um, but it's beautiful. Like though. these acrylic cases are so nice, and obviously I don't want this game to get damaged, so I, I put it in here. I just have it sealed with a couple little sticker seals. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had to get these custom made because they didn't they didn't have them in this size. But for like a GameCube game, you can just go on eBay and get them for like fifteen bucks or so, mm -hmm. and they're super super nice. So. I still can't believe I'm recommend. looking at this, right? This is my first time actually seeing it in person. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. But if you want to see more about these and the other, the other like rare Wii U stuff I brought to show him, there's going to be a video on his channel all about that. Um, Make sure y'all yeah. subscribe now. <laughs> yeah, there will be a link in the description, of course. Uh, probably pinned comment as well to his channel, so you can go and check it out. But now, let's go work on your trading. Let's do it. Oh, I brought some stuff, guys, so uh, we'll see. So I just finished going through everything. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm recording. You recording. <laughs> All right. I, what do you give me? All right. So I, I already told you off camera, but I'll tell you on camera. Yeah. The majority of these PC Engine games cheap. are like cheap. eight to ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, and even some of them, they're posted for like twenty-five or thirty. Yeah. But then there's one sold for nine ninety-nine. Yeah. So there's a couple of them that were fourteen ninety-nine. Um, and then some of the other stuff was a little bit more. The Wii Sports was the most expensive thing. <laughs> and see, that's when you get a good wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, store credit, we're looking at 85. That's not bad. 85 dollars though, I can get something with it. 85 is not that sounds bad. good. Yeah, that sounds real good. Cool. And then we were passing. Oh no, I'm sorry. That doesn't include this one. So we're at 95. 95. Okay. Look at it. Even <laughs> 95. This one's sealed, so I have to enter it in a different way, so it's not calculated in here with the rest of its trade. Well, that's cool, man. I'll have to go around and find and something. Look at it. We had to pass on this one. It's got a tiny, tiny top scratch, but yep. we're super picky on those. And this game is going up, guys. So if you see this game, make sure you grab it. It plays and everything. Some people will take it. Some people won't. But yeah. this game right here, make sure you go get it. Yeah, we're just extra picky with top scratches. I think you guys know so that by now. It's even complete. <laughs> And then I'll show you real quick what he's trading in. I'm just gonna give you an overview. The Wii Sports in there was the most expensive one, like I said. Residence of Fate was a close second. Another uncommon game. All Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Except for those top ones. And what I like about this, this Wii Sports, I got this, I got this one at Goodwill, y'all, when I do my game hunting. And I almost kept it. I have one, but look how clean it is. You yeah, don't find it super clean. And thanks to GameStop, Wii Sports is now like a $30, $40 game now. <laughs> Look, see? So, thank you GameStop for increasing the price of the game. <laughs> it might be that much a GameStop. Yeah, but not here. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> that one, disc only, we sell for $22.99. That's not bad, man. And we sell complete ones for $25. See? We pay more than GameStop, and we sell for cheaper than <laughs> them for I'll, most things. And I tell people in my video about this, like, 
This game used to be a good trade and it gains like $15 sometimes, but don't buy it there. Buy it like <laughs> in a, a local store, local, a local game store, or try to find it out in the wild so we'll trade with somebody but yeah that's good that's a good price really yes yeah. a lot of people sometimes if, the, if they're doing like those crazy they'll do like you know a, a huge percentage bonus or whatever mm -hmm. in gamestop they'll sometimes come and buy them from us and then take them to gamestop right down the road <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so he's gonna keep doing some shopping and yeah. we'll show you guys what he picks out all right let's do it two thousand years later he was looking around and he picked out some stuff. I picked out some stuff. Um, he was curious about this as well. He found this in the back in our like empty cases. Um, it's the box and then we have the soundtrack in here, uh, missing the amiibo in the game, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was gonna I was gonna look it up to give him a price, but it's not that expensive, so I'm just gonna gift it to you. <laughs> oh well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Going to the Wii U collection, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have. This is gonna be another carry on. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that to get crushed. Yeah. Maybe you can, if it'll flatten, you can put it like in your laptop. I'm so scared to flatten it, though. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put some games in it or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah. these are the games I got, so that's what I'm getting. And I'm probably, I'm probably gonna get something else. Um, Demo disc, guys. We got one here, it's what, seven. One is 10. One is Red Faction. And this, and anybody want to have the fingers, I lost it. I lost it in the military, so if I'm like, oh, what happened to this thing? I get that all the time, no, no <laughs> stress, but lost it in the military, so. <laughs> That's what happens, sometimes. <laughs> and then, a game that I haven't seen in a while. Okay, this right here, Red Ninja, $74. Really good, I'm getting this one. Story I saw this one at a game store. I opened it up. It had roach eggs in it. Oh, I was God. like, Ugh. <laughs> so I finally had this game back in my collection. <laughs> and a Wii U game that's hard to find, but not very expensive. Rise of the Guardians. Y'all, this game is gonna be. It's weird because it's. I don't even think this is on the Switch. No, I don't know where. It, it's 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 crazy. And this is. This is not a second print. This is not a first print. But anyway, don't care. <laughs> Definitely getting it. Is it complete? Yes, it is. And then last but not least, don't judge me. Don't <laughs> judge me. But I'm getting Batman Brave and Bold. This is, if you have not played this, if you can put some uh, footage up on it, I don't know if you can or not, but this is a good game. This is a good beat em up game. If you like like Final Fight, think Final Fight with Batman. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. So I'm awesome. getting these right here. But thank Ooh. you so much, man. Yeah, we're going to get him checked out. So I think I'll just end the video here. Thanks for hanging out. All right, man. Thanks for coming out. And uh, you guys, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one.